All right. So it looks like we're going to have a wedding this next episode. It seems like uh, Haley's decided this is the time to have the wedding. Yeah. So what can you share about the wedding? How fun was it? Um, shooting it? It was yeah. great. It was a blast. Uh, you know, we were out, out in Atlanta and it was, it's a New Orleans style wedding. So we have the big dance, you know, dancing and the music and the band going and it was a lot, a lot of fun. What? No snow out there? No, 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 <laughs> thankfully not. This is not a winter wedding. <laughs> yeah, nope, nope. So what was the theme of the wedding if you could share? Uh, theme of the wedding, werewolf ritual. Werewolf I mean, ritual. <laughs> Is there any rituals we need to be aware of? <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, it's cool. It, they used some tra more traditional elements that you'd get at a wedding, you know, the people sitting down, rising when, when the bride arrives. But then it's also this crazy ancient werewolf ritual. So, you know, this, it's really, really neat. I'm, it's, it's beautifully shot, so I'm very, very excited to see it. So did this require any stripping down? <laughs> no, not for me, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Did he have to strip down for you? No, I don't think so. No. Okay, all right. This is going to be a PG wedding then. Yes, yes. So, uh, should fans be excited about this episode? Do you think they're going to be? I think they're going to love it. I think they're going to love it. A lot, a lot happens, and it's. Um, I, I think it's it's really a beautiful kind of realization moment for both characters, both Jackson and Haley, and and also for Elijah and Klaus and all this. It's such a momentous event that it's going to change everything you know the whole entire landscape is going to change from here and, and there's a nice some nice moments when that realization kind of strikes you can talk about something for a long time but when it actually happens everything changes <laughs> well at this point it seems like jackson wants to be part of the mickelson family does he really want to <laughs> no no I, he is not a fan of that family and that family's not a fan of him either um but they they are the seat of power in in the uh, in that world so in Haley is a part of that family, whether she likes to be or not. So by marrying the woman that you love, you also have to take their family with them. And this family's got quite a lot of baggage and story to it. <laughs> so where's Jackson's heart at? Is he really in love with Haley at this point? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think he really truly is. And, and he, he's had two years now to just kind of hang out and get to know her. And, and I think after two years, you know, you know if you're going to love somebody or not and if you can stay with somebody. And, and uh, he's, he's definitely in it. So he's all in. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Has he fallen in love with her, or is he just making the greater sacrifice for his pack? I think he has fallen in love with her. Um, slowly, though. It, it wasn't. I don't think it was an instant. It's not like a you know, love at first sight kind of thing. But I, I think she has. He has fallen for her at this point, um, and the sacrifice is more on her part than on his. You know, this is what he's wanted for a long time. So um, you know, he's sort of, he's sort of finally getting where he wants to go and and uh Haley's the one that, that's sort of making a little bit of a sacrifice and Jackson knows that um <laughs> does he consider Elijah still a rival for her heart oh absolutely absolutely and, and uh you know there's some some really nice stuff coming up that uh where Haley and Jackson were kind of really opening up to each other about about that kind of thing and, and uh yeah, I mean, he's still always, he's Elijah, he's broody, super powerful Elijah, he's going to be a rival for anybody's heart, um, and, uh, you know, he, but Jackson also knows their history, so he's able to, to look past that and, and see her, see Haley exactly as she is, and loves that. Well, he's not only getting a bride and a wife, he's getting a baby. He's going to be a <laughs> stepdad, ready to be yeah. A dad? <laughs> yeah, he's going to be a stepdad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting, though, because, you know, and nowadays, you know, if you start dating someone and they have a kid and you fall in love with that person, you fall in love with their kid. Um, you know, it's a part of the person that you love. And uh, so Jackson is definitely, definitely into that. He's, he's I think he's going to be good for her. So definitely better than Klaus. Can we look forward to a scene perhaps with Jackson and Baby Hope? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there'll be, there'll be plenty of them going forward. Well, she herself is a little forced to be reckoned with at this point. Is she she going to be intimidated? <laughs> no, well, she's too adorable to be intimidated by at this point. Um, but it, we don't really know the extent of her power, and you know, at the moment Jackson's not really aware of that she has any. Um, but I think he has to assume she does, being you know, kind of a hybrid baby that was just with all the witchiness that was going on at the time. She's got to have some kind of crazy powers. But ultimately, when you look at her, you don't see the powers. You just see this adorable baby that wants to be held and play with, and and, and uh, so I think that's how Jackson sees her. Well, does he see himself as kind of her white knight protector at this point? Um, yeah. Yeah, he does. Because, you know, I, I think a part of being in this family, you know, he, he knows the Michelson family is toxic. And that is not a family that needs to raise a child. Um, so I think there's definitely a feeling of, you know, how can I shield her from, you know, 
her real father from the the world that that is around her because she's in a very dangerous place and uh i think jackson's the only one whose intentions are pretty clear <laughs> so yeah, yeah i think he definitely sees himself that way okay well we should clarify this at this point is he marrying the woman for the woman or for the baby <laughs> well the woman for the woman definitely <laughs> woman for the woman the woman just comes with an adorable baby hey double package <laughs> nice <up>. exactly exactly <laughs> okay well of course it's not just getting a wife and a baby he's getting all those mickelsons too they're a little crazy <laughs> yeah they are very crazy they're, that's a, that's not a family you necessarily want as your your in-laws <laughs> and is Jackson going into this eyes wide open? I mean, those people yeah. are intense. <laughs> yeah, I think he is. You know, he's, I don't, I've lost count of how many times I've tried to kill him. So, you know, these are things you don't forget. He knows, he knows exactly. He's, he's walking into a shark tank right now. <laughs> and hopefully if this wedding goes off and, and the ritual works, then he can become also a pretty ferocious shark in that tank himself um, and, and hold his own. So I think he definitely... Yeah, he knows what he's walking into. Does he have a favorite Mickelson at this point? They're all kind of crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no favorites. None. Well, if he were to pick an ally, let's say, who who would he pick out? Um, at this point, it, Jackson has, has had very limited interaction with Rebecca, mm -hmm. I think. Um, and she's sort of coming in. Now in a, in a different body, you know, she's she's been through a lot. She took care of the baby herself, you know, so maybe there is common ground there. Um, but that's probably about it. That's probably the closest he's going to get. <laughs> is he going to be nervous having these kind of vampires and hybrids all around him all the time? Yeah, I mean, it well, it depends on, on how powerful he actually becomes. You know, if Jackson really does, if this ritual goes off as it's supposed to, and he gets all of these... Well, essentially hybrid powers then he not only has the hybrid powers he has an entire pack that's going to listen to him um so you know i think he's he's definitely going to be able to hold his own and stand his ground with all of them so he could be kind of toe to toe with klaus a little bit then. i think so and that that would be a much more even fight <laughs> <laughs> do you know kind of the extent of your storyline when you were coming in as the actor for this role um initially i, I knew the the bones of it you know, uh, we hadn't, uh, you know, the ritual hadn't even been created yet at this point, you know. So it, when I walked into it, it I had no idea where it was going to go. I knew where it was going to start. And it started in such a great place with, with all the history that was already in, in place on the show. Uh, it started off really well and, and had the potential to really expand into anything. And this just happens to be the direction we've chosen for it. Um, and it's, it's a fantastic direction because it finally, for the first time in a year now, we'll get to kind of see Jackson in a new light and see him with powers matching these guys. And uh, that's going to be really fun, I think. Did you foresee that you become this romantic hero on the show? No. No, I didn't. <laughs> I had no idea that was going to happen. Um, they, you know, they had hinted at it early on and then very quick, quickly we're just, you know, sent her off with Elijah and, and Jackson sort of the odd man out. And then they've switched the whole thing. And, and that's, that's a fun challenge, too, to step into that. Well, now he's going to kind of be more in the limelight. He's going to have that bullseye on him permanently. Yeah. He's ready for the bullseye. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and I think he's he's kind of had a bullseye on his back for a long time. You know, going back, if you look at the history of it, going back to when Marcel was in charge and what he did to the pack, Jackson's kind of always had a bullseye on his back. Wolves in general have always had a bullseye. Um, for the first time, they're able to step out in the open with that bullseye and say, come and get me. You know, instead of just running and hiding in the bayou, they're able to really stand up for themselves finally. Um, so that that's that's going to be fun. Okay, now you've inhabited the role for a while. Kind of, what do you most appreciate about this character? What do you love about? Him? Um, yeah, I I like his his simplicity in on in terms of honesty. You know, the way that he's probably the only guy on this show that has been pretty honest with who he is from the beginning. Um, and and that's vastly different than anyone else on the show. Everyone's always scheming and plotting and doing this. Jackson doesn't do that. You know, he'll tell you like it is, right up front. He's blunt, you know, and he's not afraid to share his opinion, you know, and I, I think that that's sort of a fun challenge in, in this world because that doesn't exist outside of him. <laughs> well, if you could sit down with him, he's on the eve of his wedding, what kind of wedding advice would you give him? Good luck. I mean, you're... You have some terrible in-laws, you know. I probably could have picked a better family to marry into, but if you're really going to go for this, watch your back. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. As we wrap up, kind of what would you like to tease about what's upcoming for Jackson and maybe what's going on? Um, well, we we are starting to see sort of Jackson and Haley have become a unit, you know, especially surrounding um, the little baby Hope. And uh, moving forward, hopefully we'll kind of get to develop more and more of, of what Jackson is now willing to do to defend this kid, how invested he truly is in this. Um, and, you know, I, I think that'll be fun to watch going forward. Okay. We're looking forward to seeing all of that. It'll be wonderful. Looking forward to doing it. Thank you so much.